The economic impact and the social impact of the Eden project on Mid Cornwall has been very significant. When we built it, people started to look at the landscape as if some kind of spectre had been lifted off it. Suddenly they thought, crikey, wow, and they looked at it afresh. So our impact over the last 20 years has been to put more than two billion pounds, I'll repeat that, two billion pounds, pound for pound, this is probably the best investment that Britain's ever made in a particular project. It's because of what the symbolism of this being a place of regeneration comes to mean. What it symbolizes is a bunch of ordinary people believed in doing something amazing and thought, why shouldn't it happen here? Why should amazing things happen elsewhere? Wales has got such wealth of, of intellect, such wealth of cultural depth, which most countries would give their eye teeth for. But what you really need is the belief, the belief that something that is genuinely world-class is here. One of the madnesses of public investment in science or art or whatever is that the problem with ordinary accountancy is that you end up knowing the cost of things but not the cost of not doing things. Who on earth? This cost 140 million pounds in total. Only an idiot would do it because we only turn over 27 million a year. So why? Well, the truth is we're putting 60 million pounds every single year back into the economy. It has catalyzed so much possibility everywhere else. So Planetarium Wales is, represents whatever, whatever is spent on it has to be analyzed, not in terms of what is the return of people coming to it, it is also, what is it doing to lift the pall of low expectation and create new economic thinking and social thinking within probably 30 miles of it? Now you will find that that will be a very, very significant figure. A very significant figure. It just takes the one statement of faith in a place for other little statements to start and the culture to develop. And then before you know it, people are coming to learn and an and, and education infrastructure starts to develop. And then the people making the t-shirts, the postcards, the books, the lectures, the digital presence, the global advertising come to Wales. Now you suddenly start to say, wow, that was a complete bargain.